Welcome to lesson 13 in My Size Unit 8, Putting on a Show with Light and Sound. In this lesson, students will answer the question, how can we communicate through musical instruments and shadow puppet shows? Students will figure out that light and sound can be used to communicate as they finish their design challenge by putting on a show with light and sound. In the Engage portion of this lesson, you'll ask students, do you have a favorite movie, TV show, play, or musical? What do the things that we've learned in this unit have to do with making a movie? You'll take student responses and then say, Today we get to create our final shadow puppet show that includes both sounds from our musical instruments and light for our shadow puppets. In the Explore portion of this lesson, you're going to make a career connection to students. You'll explain to students that the people that are in charge of productions like plays and movies are called directors and then you'll show them a video about what it means to be a director. While you're watching the video, you'll focus the discussion on where the director gets her ideas from. In the explain portion of this lesson, you'll say to students, Now you will get to use all that we have learned in this unit to make your own sound and light show based on the book Seven Blind Mice. You'll read the story to the students, reminding them to think about how they will bring the story to life with music and shadow puppets. You can find a read aloud guide for this on teacher page 16. For the elaborate portion of this lesson, you'll need to decide if your class will perform the show as a whole class or in smaller groups, with each group performing a show. You may choose different books to use if you have more than one group presenting. Have students decide who will play the music and who will work with the puppets. Remind the musicians that they need to think about how they will use pitch, rhythm, and volume to communicate feeling throughout the performance. Puppeteers should decide how they will use shadows and sizes of shadows to tell the story of the seven blind mice. Both groups should work together to make sure the performance makes sense. There are student templates in the teacher pages or students can use the shadow puppets that they made in the previous lessons when putting on their show. Go over the performance rubric with students so they understand the expectations for their project. Give groups time to plan and rehearse their performance before presenting it to the whole class. In the evaluate portion of this lesson, you'll discuss the performances with the class. Ask students, did the performance tell the story? Did it use sound to communicate feelings? Did it use light to show the characters? Allow students to evaluate their projects using the performance rubric and reflect with their groups on their projects. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to answer the question, how can we communicate through musical instruments and shadow puppet shows? They have created and performed a musical and light show using what they've learned throughout this unit. 